It would appear that we have something like two Dendrobium hibiscus in the viewfinder. <laughs> okay, that's stating the obvious. Yes, there's two pots, but look, more pink here, a little less hot pink right here. That is because of the way the facade is now reflecting on this one. Amazing. Huh, you see how much that white facade reflects? Oh, but we're not here to talk about the reflection of my facade. No way, no way. Today, it's time to look at the list whose names have come up, check out which orchids have bloomed so that I can do some dedication, so that I can say thank you, so that I can express my gratitude, and so that I can update you on some of the orchids that are being featured today. However, there is something that I always do, and will always do, if given the chance, is to give a massive shout out to the orchid ninjas who have their own orchid. Kid. Now, she's not always in bloom, but when she blooms, cheese! She should be called McLean's, not Cornuserbi variety Chateladay. She should be Cornuserbi variety McLean's. <laughs> Orchid ninjas, if you're new to my channel, are what we call our members here. So, channel ninja orchids, the minute you become a member, you are an orchid ninja, no matter if you are new to orchid growing or a veteran. But it is this group of people that go above and beyond and help support the channel financially. So with every Blooms For You video, they get a massive shout out because, oh my goodness, if it weren't for them. Thank you, Orchid Ninjas, for your support. Thank you so much because it helps me, it helps the orchid, and it keeps the lights on sometimes. <laughs> There's a little hidden nugget of a message there, and we will probably get into those sometimes coming soon as we head into the winter. But for now, it is beautiful and balmy here in southern Spain, and wherever you are located, Orchid Ninjas, I hope you're doing well. I so appreciate you. Your support is priceless. Become an official Orchid Ninja as well. I encourage you to do so. It would mean a lot. <laughs> From where I'm stood, it means a lot. And hit the join button. But unfortunately, that join button only appears when you subscribe. So that would be awesome. If you would like to support the channel that way, subscribe to the channel. And even though I haven't gotten into the main body of the video yet, a little bit of YouTube housekeeping is always on the table when it comes to my Blooms For You series. Because... If you can support the channel by subscribing, also it would support the channel if you would like the video because what we do here, I'm about to tell you. And when I say we, please don't misunderstand me. I am doing this by myself. Me and my worms. <laughs> That's what we used to say in Kenya where I'm from. Anyway, what I do here is take everybody that I can identify and I have a long list of names from the moment I started my channel and I have been documenting everybody that has commented under my videos, has subscribed, channels that I can see. If they're private, I can't see them but it is a long list. And as my orchids bloom, they bloom for you. So anybody that is not mentioned here today still gets blooms. And that is why I'm milking Dendrobium hibiki again. It gives me the opportunity to say, look at this abundance of blooms. My Dendrobium hibikis bloom for you if you are not mentioned here today, because I don't want anybody to feel left out. So thank you for clicking on the video. Thank you so much for your time. Please check the top left hand of your screen as the orchids in bloom appear because we are going to go back in time, seeing as I couldn't do the dedications when the orchids were actually in bloom. And I do not want to mislead that at the point of you watching the video and as it airs, you think, oh, these orchids are in bloom at this time of year. No, 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 no. Check the top left hand of your screen. If there isn't a date, that means the orchid is in actual fact and bloom. So you see, some intros have to be a little bit more elaborated before we get to the main body of the video, just to do a little bit of explaining. We can't always be rushing around. So while it is not about what I enjoy doing here, even though yakking away about orchids, I love it. No surprises there then. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed it as well. Just take a moment, take a breath, and let's have a chin wag. Anyway, now let's go and have a look-see as to which orchid blooms and whose names have come up.
I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly when I say Bisco Disquit 24, because C or C, Lelia Ketiana, she bloomed for you. Every time a Rapiculus Lelia blooms white or even the pale yellow, I refer to the blooms as the daisies of the orchid hobby. I love daisies. It's so magical, charming, and whimsical to be in a field where the daisies bloom. And these little guys, oh my goodness, the things that they have to tolerate in order to survive. Well, let's just say, when they're in cultivation, they are a little pampered. <laughs> they live the five-star deluxe lifestyle. They don't have to fight so hard. It is up to us, the grower, not to do them any harm because we tend to try to love on them too much. <laughs> but it's such a pleasure to see a Rapiculus Lelia bloom for the second time and also with two spikes. The blooms are tiny. For that reason, I am not sharing them around, even though the blooms are huge in my eyes. <laughs> but size does matter. And that is why, as a massive thank you to you, Biscodisquit24, for your support on my channel, these blooms bloomed for you exclusively, just so that you understand that I do appreciate your support a great deal. And it is not about the size of the blooms, that is an expression of my gratitude. It is the fact that this orchid did bloom and she is special to me and your name came up and that is why she bloomed for you because I'm ever so grateful and I'm using her to express my appreciation. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Bisco Disquit 24. Okay, I had a little bit of a problem with my Stanhopia acidensis dedication because 20 blooms, 20 large blooms, I could do 20 names easily. I don't want to also be tedious about reading out names for those of you that are watching that are not named in these bloom dedications and yet here you are watching. So I have made a dent into my <laughs> orchid list, which is wonderful. Thank you, Stanhopia acidensis, lovingly called Stan the Man on the Patio. And thank you to Donna Reed, Josh Balgos, Carlotta J, Ted Voice, Tesoro Forever, Winky Whispers, Ultimate Zero, Sid H, Danny, Paisley Frizz, and TJ's Backwood Plants. Thank you again to all of you for your support on my channel. I'm telling you, it was a thrilling season with Stan the Man. He started his first spike back in May and then bloomed out fully in July. Not all at the same time. It was all a successive blooming. But nonetheless, it was an impressive, impressive, let's say six weeks to blooming for the first bloom and then all the way through July, all the other spikes successively blooming. <laughs> it was just, I was in heaven. Heaven. Cinnamon and big red heaven on the patio with a major, major dose of sugar to boot. The east side of the patio, I cannot explain what was going on here. I wish we could have scratch and sniff. <laughs> I would direct you to just tap the cinnamon, tap the molasses, tap the sugar, and then tap the cinnamon two or three more times so that you really get that cinnamon kick <laughs> because that's what was happening here on the patio. It was marvelous. No two ways about about it and it is my pleasure to pass that experience on and to say thank you for the support on my channel here via my Stan Hopia Blooms to Donna Reed, Josh Balgos, Carlota J, Ted Voice, Tesoro Forever, Winky Whispers, Ultimate Zero, Sid H, Danny, Paisley Frizz and TJ's Backwood Plants. Now the 20 blooms came from eight spikes. Seeing as this blooming is already long gone and is over, I'm going to update you on the fact that Stan the Man is currently growing 14 new growths <laughs> that I can count. And trust me, I count it again and again and again, just to make sure that I'm not double counting, you know? <laughs> Maybe I should put little dots on the ones that I have counted. But yeah, 14 new growths are on the way. I was hoping for 14, maybe 15. Now that we've reached 14, I'm going to go up a little bit more and hope for 16, maybe 17. <laughs> because just because the growths are growing now doesn't mean that in three or four months, not another little growth or another lead won't start. <laughs> and I still have a lead where I'm like going, where's your new growth? 
So <laughs> this orchid is such fun. Anyway, Stan the Man, Stanhopia Acidensis bloomed for all of you to thank you for your support on my channel. It is my pleasure to have this orchid on the patio to be able to dedicate the blooms and pay it forward. I hope you're all doing well in your part of the world. Woohoo, I love me orchids like this because then I get to a lot of names and I can thank many, many people. So before I get carried away, let me say thank you to Mini Sri Kumar, Keating Rourke, Rufus and G. Rui Fu, Sherry Shan, Nigora Reitz, Jennifer R., Shelley Johnson, and Mini Xavier. So this is Epidendrum Multiforme crossed with Capricorn New. I call her my grape orchid because of the way the spike forms. When the buds start to form, it looks like baby grapes before they ripen. It's absolutely remarkable. And then it just spreads out and shapes into this beautiful cluster of green and white blooms. Usually you should be able to see a little bit of a pink blush on the column, but that is not always evident. Depending on how the camera reacts to light, I think I captured some images so that we could see that detail. But these blooms aren't very large for an orchid that is rather large. Her tallest growth is easily 80 centimeters and she can bloom multiple spikes. However, mine was divided and hmm, has objected to that division very, very much. It has as yet to recover. For that reason, I am a bit disappointed that the growth that is blooming currently isn't as tall as the previous growths. But you know what? we've got ourselves a beautiful spike. She is not fragrant, but her bloom duration is easily six weeks during the warmest months of the year. Personally, I am drawn to blooms that are green and white. I absolutely love that combination. It's so clean and crisp. And also the presentation of the spike. I just find it very, very whimsical and magical. So I really hope that you, Ministri Kumar, Keating Rourke, Rufus NG Rui Fu, Sherry Shan, Nigora Reitz, Jennifer R., Shelley Johnson, and Mini Xavier also like this orchid because your names came up <laughs> and it, I hope it just works out that you were also very partial to blooms like this. I want to say thank you so very, very much for your support on my channel. It is greatly appreciated and know that even though it took a while for me to get to your names, I see you. I had you in my vizier, so to speak. And here we are, my Epidendrum Multiforme crossed with Capricornu. She blooms for you. Thank you so much for your support. When you put two names together and this is the result, I find that pretty impressive. This is Lelia Amethyst and she is a primary hybrid and her parents are Cattleya purpurata and Brassabola cuculata. Evident in the shape of the blooms, the cuculata is just, <laughs> oh, you know what? That lip. <laughs> And the purpurata brings in the color into that lip. But anyway, when you put two names together and you get this kind of a result, I am hoping that Don Constant and Helen Greer, the two of you are together in this grouping so that I can thank you for your support on my channel. So Don Constant and Helen Greer, my Lelia Amethyst, the blooming of 2023 is dedicated to you. Thank you so much for your support on my channel. This orchid went through a root ball cleanup in March of 2023 and the growth that bloomed out was actually the one that was being focused on during the repot. So it's amazing. It's amazing the stage at which that growth was at from March and then to bloom out. This orchid can take a beating and still do what she does once she is a mature blooming size orchid. It's not to say I didn't have some difficulties earlier in the year when I was losing some growth because there was too much moss around the teeny tiny delicate base. We lost two structures and the other one that is kind of teetering is still holding on. But the point I'm really trying to make here is that do not be fooled by her delicate appearance. She is a tough cookie. My repot was all in, as in a clean up of the nth degree. There was no media in between the root ball. It was a root ball cleanup and still she bloomed. 
and her other lead also matured the growth, although it did not bloom, but that is a new lead, which has yet to mature. I'm hoping in 2024, it will mature to a blooming size lead. And the third lead is already pushing another new growth. So she looks delicate, but she's a tough cookie and I am so grateful. So thank you, Dawn Constant and Helen Greer for your support on my channel, my Lelia or Catlia Amethyst, she blooms for you. And I didn't really mention the fragrance because to me she's not that fragrant. I've heard other things with other growers that have highly fragrant Cattleya amethysts. Mine has the characteristics of a purpurata fragrance but very faint and the only thing she does a little bit different to her purpurata parent is she carries that fragrance into the night because of the cuculata parent. But while I cannot brag about the fragrance being anything to write home about, I can brag about the blooms and the strength and the vigor of the orchid. <laughs> Thank you so much once again, Don Constant and Helen Greer. I hope you're doing well. Isn't she pretty? Oh my goodness. I just can't. I just can't. I found the stillest corner of the patio just to be able to get her out of the breeze so that the camera would focus and I hope it's doing a good job because Suzanne McWigan. <laughs> this is Lelia Regentii. I call it Regentii A because when I got the Regentii and then I potted her up she fell into two pieces so I have Regentii A and Regentii B and Regentii A was the strongest of the two pieces and is blooming right now but Regentii B is in bud. I cannot believe it, but I'm not going to wait in order to group them together and show them to you and bloom together because I have no idea how long these cutie patootie blooms are going to last during these kinds of conditions. Very windy, very dry. Now, okay, they can take a beating in their natural habitat. They may not even bloom in their natural habitat because something came and munched the spike off. So this is a luxury, but I still want to be able to dedicate these blooms because it's just adorable. This orchid did not bloom for me in 2022. She skipped a year, but she is really taking off in that pot right now. Thankfully, the same applies to Regenti IB. But Suzanne McWigan, you see, I get carried away, put a little rapiculous Lelia in front of me and I am all over over it and I lose track of what I'm trying to do here. These blooms are for you. This is my way of thanking you for supporting the channel and having a rapiculous Lelia bloom. It's just, it always melts my heart and makes me get all into my feels. <laughs> so thank you so much for your support. It is truly appreciated. Ha! Ah, gosh, I love me that little sparkle on the petals and sepals. It's just, <laughs> that little lip is, oh, Everything about this bloom is charming and so darling. Anyway, Suzanne McQuiggan, your support on the channel is very appreciated. Thank you so, so much. My Lelia Regentii A, she blooms for you. Yikes! <laughs> After all that, the sun has already shifted and the hibikis are in <laughs> bright sun <laughs> and it's a little bit eye-wateringly. Ah, let's see what we can do with the exposure and just play around, see if we can help out a little bit. That's better. Yeah, you see the difference between this orchid in the shade? It's already pretty psychedelic as opposed to in the sun where it's just like, ooh, hoo, hoo, it's starting to get my eyes to weep. <laughs> Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Blooms for You. I hope that you've subscribed and let me know that you are subscribed just in case you have a private account. Know that I can't see you, but I do not want to impose any of this on anybody. Just know that these blooms, they bloomed for you as well as a massive thank you for your support on my channel for being here. I appreciate you all very, very much. I appreciate your time. I hope you have yourself a beautiful day on that one condition though, please. And I insist that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.